We're visiting the historic town of Chinon as part of our tour of the Loire Valley in France. Driving into the town and along the main shopping lane of the old town gives us a quick preview of the streets in which we'll soon be taking a little walk. It's primarily a pedestrian zone, but our tour van has permission to bring us in here and then drop us off. Very convenient for us. We took a short drive uphill in our tour van and stopped for an overview of the old town. A spectacular vista down below. All those slate roofs on top of buildings dating back 400, 500 years old in some cases. There are remains of a large castle up on the hill also overlooking the town. In this visit, we didn't go inside the hilltop fortress, but you can get an idea of its appearance in the Google Earth view. The historic center was registered as a national conservation area in 1968. This central place was the only open space during the Middle Ages and so developed in the 18th and 19th centuries into the main town square, sheltered by trees with outdoor restaurant tables and an excellent small hotel. Chinon is a small town and you definitely get that feeling of friendliness and camaraderie as you walk around in the streets. Especially here in the off season, we're in early December. In the summer, it's going to be more crowded with tourists, of course, but now it's all locals. They're out with their baguettes and saying hello and pushing the babies. It's really a lovely scene. Typical of European old towns, they've managed to preserve the best of the old structures and then renovate them, reutilize them, and turn it into a modern and vibrant downtown that everybody can enjoy today. It has an authentic human scale that many modern cities are trying to recapture. The Old Town presents an interesting architectural ensemble, especially dating from its time of importance in the Middle Ages and the beginning of the Renaissance when this Loire Valley area was seat of the King's Court. The old town developed kind of squeezed in between the foot of a rocky cliff and the Vienne River on the south, which created a long, narrow urban space with the main streets running parallel to the river. The most significant event of Chinon's history took place in 1429, when King Charles VII assembled here the Estates General, and Joan of Arc prevailed upon him to march on the city of Orléans which at that time was besieged by the English. With the men and arms accorded to her, Joan of Arc went on to break the siege of Orléans and open the way for Charles to be crowned. This battle was the turning point of the war with England, leading to the end of the Hundred Years' War and helping to establish firm national boundaries of France. After the 16th century, Chinon was no longer a royal residence and in 1631, it became part of the estates of the Duke of Richelieu, who neglected it, and it began to fall apart. The city changed very little up to the revolution. In the 1820s, however, most of the fortifications were pulled down and the banks of the Vienne River were opened up to the outside. As we leave town in our van tour, heading for yet another chateau, we get a look back across the river at the town and up to the castle. Our series about the Chateau of the Loire is also bringing you to Amboise, Chambord, Cheverny, Azé, and Blois, and a few other places with our home base in the city of Tours. Have a look at our YouTube channel and our website for more movies about this beautiful region and many videos about the rest of France.